previously on Resident Evil Revelations. Hey, that's you, isn't it? He's lucky Raymond didn't shoot back. No, I can still fight. That's the spirit. Uh, I guess you thought of everything. But even the FBC may not be able to cover its tracks on this one. I like this previously on thing they do. They carried it over into Revelations 2 as well, which I, I liked. No more. Looks like we both were too late. Both of you. Look. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. Abandon hope? He's quoting Dante. I'll find you, Jill. All right. Chris is on the hunt. He's going to find his partner, yo. All right, episode four, A Nightmare Revisited. Welcome to the stream, everyone. Let's do this. We are Velcro. Vengeful messages from the depths of the infernal. I'm sorry, did you say Velcro? No, Veltro. Terrorists. We killed these bastards already. It looks like you missed a few. And they're on this ship. And now they want to use the virus to stage another attack. They seek the truth about Terra Grigia. My only vengeance. issue with this game from a story standpoint is that it markets itself and mostly is a Chris and Jill game. You just play as them separately through most of the game. But I don't feel like they have any real character arcs. Like they give all the character arcs to Parker and Jessica and O'Brien uh, and Raymond <laughs> and everyone else kind of ends differently than they began the story except Jill and Chris they're just like the hard asses that's my only like minor critique because it doesn't affect the game overall but it's it's a little it bugs me a little uh, safety procedures because this vessel was involved in a prior accident safety standards that go beyond those outlined in the Marine Safety Act have been introduced. What's up, Jama Lee, Velcro enemies, <laughs> and Deadeye? How's it going? How are you guys doing tonight? Thanks for being in here. Um, all crew must read and study this manual to be prepared to act in case of an emergency. Number one, the Queen Zenobia has two unique power generators. If the main power generator should fail, the backup generator in the build will compensate for its loss and supply the entire ship with operating power. Um, I, I wish, why Why do they cut mid-sentence off? Just finish the paragraph. You got enough room there. Uh, number two, this ship contains vertical and horizontal bulkheads that automatically divert water in case of flooding. In the event of an emergency, the bulkheads can be operated by the control system in the bilge. This system will continue to operate even after sustaining minimal damage. Now I realize why there's so few words on each page. This used to be on the 3DS. <laughs> uh, so that makes sense. All right, so... Let's, uh, there's definitely got to be something in here. What's that? Oh, hand grenade. What up? Boom. Shoddy shells. All right, let's go back to it. I think there's another room downstairs we have, we've unlocked, so we could probably head down there too now. Uh, Jomley says, Deadeye, best friend and the homie. That's right. Whoa. Take it. You might need it. Like you said, turning on the power won't be easy. Give us the anchor key. That key will get you through the casino on the first floor. Then you'll find a lift to take you to the bill. But tell me something first. You didn't see any other FBC members here, did you? I can't reach my partner, Rachel. Damn it. Oh, Rachel. I think Rachel's... I think I said it in a previous episode, so I'm sure someone in that comment section on YouTube is... If anyone watched the video, it's probably chewing me out. Um, I think Rachel's the one dressed provocatively. And is... is Right? No, just... No, it's... I think... I don't know. I don't remember. One of them is dressed a little provocatively... And then, yeah, Jessica's the one who keeps trying to earn Chris's trust, like, too much. She's trying too hard. So, yeah, so they are separate characters. Um, so, all right. Uh, let's see here. We have a, a 209 handgun, a 192 times 6 on that one, and a firepower of 1,100. So, f all these firepowers 
just pale in comparison, but we did get one of these. Sweet. All right, so I think underneath the staircase here. Should we look for this Rachel woman? We can, but after we bring back the ship's power. Because isn't this a... Where does this go? Let's check the map before we just go waltzing in. Oh, yeah. Well, that's where we got to go. Huh. So I'm, I'm, I'm actually taking us right where we need to go. Let's, uh, since we have the anchor key. Nice looking ship. It would have been so nice to be on it without the monsters. Um, let's go back to the original area real quick. Let's do a little backtracking and use this anchor key on two doors over here. Um, that we might be able to find some extra ammo or weapons or something with. All right, this is where we need to go. So if you're watching later, you just missed about like maybe a minute <laughs> footage. But it was a boring minute, so you're lucky. Yeah, I just want to use this key on this door. Oh, custom parts. And there was um there was another door that needed the key but uh but that's I think that's probably on the way that's on the other side of the boat most likely. Um yeah, so that was a that was a quickie. Cuz we don't have the card reader for that other locked door. So that's cool. Um yeah, I think the other cuz remember at the beginning of the game when we found fake Chris uh, there was a door over there that needed the anchor key. I'm pretty sure that's the direction we're heading in. I think it's that's on the other side of the ship. And I think that's where we're going now. So, so hopefully we'll see that room again. Um, Jaume says, hey, Grifter, and so happy to have the fam here. Now the big question is, what are we... Excuse me, I had a hiccup right in the middle of that. <laughs> Apparently, I'm really drinking. <laughs> um, what's everyone drinking tonight? Jaume wants to know. John Lee, I guess I'm having alcohol because I got the hiccups. Uh, but I, truthfully, I have a, ugh, I have a Coke. Um, I, I had a Carl's Jr. gift card, and I decided to go use it, and they only have Coke there. So, you know, I was think I was kind of feeling Sprite, but I really needed the caffeine, so I was like, all right, I'll just do Coke. So here you go, one of my, <laughs> one of like the three times on the stream that I've had Coke and not Pepsi. Grifter says, congrats, uh, off to work. Oh, shit. Okay, bye, Grifter. <laughs> Thanks for popping in, too. <laughs> oh, man. Timing is everything. Uh, well, have a good night at work, and uh, we'll, we'll catch up with you later. I'll be back tomorrow night, and we'll play um, either more of this or Batman Telltale. So we'll see you then, dude. All right, the casino. Oh, you see that? There's like a crest. In there. Power is out. Alright, can I just jump over? Oh, apparently I can't shoot the fish. It's a bunch of bollocks. Oh, something's something's happening. What's up, book? Casino staff report. I finally found out how to bypass the security on the VIP room. That room's reserved for all the high rollers, so I've always been curious what goes on in there. It's so easy. All you have to do is feed coins to the casino girl next to the door, and you can bypass any security. You have to hit the precise weight, 107 grams, a small price to pay for access to the VIP room. Oh. Um. Oh. 
when I touch her boobs or something? Oh, there's magnum ammo there. Looks like a place I put coins. Well, I don't have any coins. Let's put the power back on then. Maybe we can win some. Well, this game, we have to gamble to solve a puzzle. Nice. Um, oh my god, Grifter. <laughs> well played. <laughs> they have things like casinos. Um, John Lee, if it, John Lee shouted out for Echo. Um, he's actually in the intro of this video, uh, both the edited version and the live one here. He was sitting right next to me, so I picked him up and put him on camera. So uh, you'll see that in the, the live episode, or the edited one, sorry. Uh, we can play this one. Oh. Hmm. So I need a coin. What did I was talking over Parker, so he probably said something like, Hey, go over there, there's a coin. Uh <laughs> and I missed it. So what was it? What did he say? Is there one over here? Negative Ghost Rider. Is there one in the water? Maybe someone threw it in to make a wish? Holy shit. Shit, it's been infected. Oh! Watch pressing the bow! Jeez! Whoa! I counted three that were in there. How are there like six of these things jumping around? Dude. Let's get one alive. Dang it. Nice. This one does not want to die. Apparently those ones don't either. Dang, he took a shotgun blast. Wow. Finally quieted what? down a little. Oh! Oh, it ate it. Okay. Weird. Let's play this one over here. So I can get more coins with this? I don't know. I think we gotta gamble. We gotta get lucky, dude. Oh. Got one coin back. Oh. I guess that's not the one we're supposed to play on. Alright, let's go try this one. Uh, yay, furry brosif. What am I doing wrong? Hey! I picked up a bundle of coins. Sweet. It's got to be worth something. A bundle, huh? We're going to make 107, right? There we go. Boom! Jackpot! VIP! VIP! Uh, but yes, there is an Echo cameo. <laughs> what do we do? Touch her boobs or something? Nah, son, feed coins to her boobs, John Lee says. <laughs> A scribbled memo. Uh, dearest friend, I am at my wit's end. I am sorry, but I must go on ahead. 
they are sleeping, but they will wake up eventually. Now's my chance. Just thinking about them makes my hair stand on end. Their ugly bodies are not of this world. Their stench like rotting organs and their screams like echoes from hell itself. I'm so frightened that I can't stop shaking even now as I write this. Be careful. The bloated blisters on the walls are their eggs. They can regenerate from them. Please don't think they that I've abandoned you. I did it for my family. I will pray for your safety. Uh, okay. Let's, we got two custom parts. Let's put them on. Infighter 1 and Long Magazine. Let's do, uh... I'm not a fan of the two-shot burst anyway, so. Oh, let's, uh, let's add infighter to this. Nice. Cool. All right. What I also like about this game is there's not a lot. It, it has the this, this inventory chest, kind of, but it, you don't spend a lot of time in them like you do, like, item management, like you do in the other Resident Evil games, uh, like 1 through, well, 1 through 4, I guess, or 1 through 3, and Code Veronica. Oh, I bet you there was something up in that high rollers room, and I, oh, yeah, let's go check. <laughs> I forgot there's a ladder. I'm like, oh, I just jumped down this chute. Um, I forgot to scan in here. Oh, there we go. Look at that. We need it instantly. But yeah, there's not a you don't spend a lot of time like micromanaging, which is your inventory, which is nice. Boom. See? In and out. Uh yay, now we have boob coins for the lady. <laughs> don't you forget it. These coins were made for boobin, and that's just what they'll do. Oh, dude. Okay. Creepy. Angel, what is up? How's it going? Good to see you. By the way, if you're wondering, yes, my nose still itches. I don't know what it is. It's been itching all day. It's like a, what? It's like a, something I'm allergic to must have crawled all over it because it just itches. It itches mostly on the outside. Um, so yeah, I don't know. What, I don't know. That's probably not a good sign. I'm sure that means I'm just out of drugs again. Kidding, by the way. <laughs> Then we need to find it. Okay. I'll check around here and see if it turns up. Roger that. I'll look for it on my end. Oh, already on it. Search for the key. Anything to scan? No? Screwdriver to the rescue. Angel, good to see you again. Thanks for popping in earlier and thanks for coming back tonight. Hope you're doing well. Whew, a diamond. They are forever. I don't want to go to another floor, though. It's like, we were right there at the elevator shaft we had to go down, and uh, now I have to, like, go... Whoa, this looks familiar. Oh! His was in the this is it! That means Rachel or whoever has the key. We just have to find her. I think Rachel. I might have an idea where she is. That corpse you ran into earlier? Yeah, the girl we saw yeah. get killed. I just pray it wasn't her.
I know we got to go that way, but let's run up here. I think this is where we use that uh, key at, that anchor key. Angel, how are you? Jeremy says, glad you're here. I'm good. And you guys, we're doing good too, Angel. Thanks for being here. Yeah, we're right at the back at the beginning of the game. Are we at the exact beginning of the game? I think we are. Yeah, this is... The, uh, I don't think we can go back anymore. But hey, you know what? Since we're back here, let's scan for some stuff. It says there's something here. <laughs> there's stuff to scan out here too? Man. Yeah, this is like where we first climbed on the boat. Yeah, the bell that creeps her out. All right. Enough backtracking. Whoa, what is it? Oh, okay. Just a regular. Just one we've seen before. Oh, wow. My aim is getting better, I think. Look at its face. It's like two hands. Wow. Jeez. Oh, do I have five bullets now? I was counting shots when I was doing that. I kept reloading at one bullet left. Um, not that it mattered. I just I kept missing anyway. Ugh. I'm just the worst. I know we probably scanned everything coming through here. Unless there's new things to get. Um, hello, by the way, seven people. Thanks for all being here. Welcome to Resident Evil Revelations. If you're new to the channel, my name is Seek. Uh, feel free to jump in the chat and help my friends wipe my butt because I'm scared. All right. Whew. One down. Two down? Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness for Trish the Dish. Sorry, that's a <laughs> clerk's reference, or mall rats, I think, maybe. Uh, but Trish, the actual name here, is a reference to Devil May Cry. Um, <laughs> so, yes. So there's something. Wait, oh, a handprint. I knew it. That person's a righty. Uh, John Lee says, good, good, thanks. Uh, just got my tickets for the new Blade Runner movie for tomorrow. Oh, man. John Lee, let us know how it is. I don't think I'm going to have the time or the money to see it this weekend. Uh, but uh, I, I kind of want to. I, I, I dug the first Blade Runner. It's, it's not my favorite of, like, 
my you know like the movies I grew up with but it it sticks out in you and I always loved wondering you know at the end of uh, was it Decker is that his name uh, Han, uh, Han Solo um, is someone singing uh, Harrison Ford um, wondering if he was a replicant or not I thought th I always thought that was cool to leave that hanging um, Although I think Ridley Scott has come up with an answer for that. I think he had said um, that Decker wasn't like that he that he was or that he was a replicant or something. But I don't know. I don't know how that feeds into the new movie. And uh, and I don't want to know because I want to go see it. So let us know what you think of the movie when you after you check it out. All right. All right. On the oh. That's where evil Chris was, or no Chris. Ah, oh, custom bow. Yeah, right in the boob. This is where I found that dummy of Chris. Where is the real Chris? Yeah, where is the real Chris? By the way, did you guys see when I? I, the first episode I actually edited, I found that trailer. Uh, if you remember, there was a, uh, it's terrorist, uh, terrorist group's flag, Veltro is written on it. There was a trailer when this was first announced that showed a Chris Redfield sitting in the chair in the middle of the room, and then Jill came up and pointed a gun at him and said, did you really think you were going to get away with this? And then real Chris steps in and aims a gun at Jill and says, uh, I already have Jill. And then it was like Resident Evil Revelations. What I put that clip in the first video. It actually got me a copyright strike <laughs> from Capcom. So I, whichever, which is fine. I mean, only like eight people watch that video. So I don't, I'm not going to fight them on that for eight views. Uh, they can have the, the quarter of a penny that I earned <laughs> that video. But uh, yeah, I did splice that in, by the way. John Lee said, I like the first one. I kept away from many spoilers or reviews, so I'm just going in 100% blind for the new Blade Runner. I did the same with It and had a great time. Super excited. Yeah, uh, I did the same thing with It, too. I stayed away from all the spoilers and really, really dug it. Uh, I <laughs> dug it. And uh, that's a good way to go into it, I think. That's pretty much the only way I could maybe even think about going to see Justice League. I've watched like two of the trailers and I've just been kind of like, whatever, like the movie just looks really crappy to me. Uh, the CG, the special effects all look bad. I mean, when people are just standing on a green screen set for like, f like 80% of your action movies, it just makes me think of, uh, the f episode one. Like when I first saw the behind the scenes of that, when everyone was just running around on green screen, all these actors were reacting to things that weren't there and stuff. And although I think the actors in this movie, you know, maybe um, are doing a better job for the most part. I'm still not like excited about Justice League. So I think the only way I can go see it is if I just stay away from everything and just kind of on a whim go, oh, it's like it's third week in the theater. No one will be there. I'll go see it now, you know, kind of attitude. So I'm going to try that and hopefully it works. Yeah, I'm gonna try I'll stay away from uh, reviews up until I go see it. Melt. I'm melting. I'm melting. Uh, I think that room is coming up. I think, isn't it right behind me? Yeah, I think the room is right up there next to the green door. I once put off streaming entirely because I knew a delivery guy was coming, and then he ended up not even coming that day. Oh, salt. Salt on the, <laughs> on a massive level. Salty balls. Salty, salt bags? Salt bags. Yeah. I forgot our catchphrase. I'm sorry. Um... Oh man, I hate that. I hate when I plan my day like like that, where I go like, all right, I'm. I mean, I love uh, some of my friends out here in LA, but sometimes they do that. You know, like everyone here either planned. I I always say like either it's hard because I tell people like, hey, just invite me last minute. That way I don't, you know, because the more I plan, like the more I screw it up. Um, and uh, and then there are times where that doesn't work, and then there, and then sometimes people give me like a ton of notice. And it's, uh, it's still not enough for me. I hate these ones. Ooh. That's a cool effect. 
so um salt bags yeah there you go uh but yeah i've i i i have to just be like look here are my priorities work you know or e obviously life and echo and all that stuff but m extra priorities it's like work and then when i get done with work if i have time i hit neverland if i get enough neverland in or if i just need a day off from neverland the next priority is streaming and it just goes down you know i just have like a list of things um and yeah that's that's just kind of how i do and sometimes i mean and i do need streaming to take a break from things like neverland too like sometimes I'll, I'll work really hard on neverland for for like three four days straight and then i just burn out and i'm like and i'm out of ideas and then i'm like all right well i don't know how to make this scene better i don't know how to work on this i don't know what to do with this character so let me just go play a game talk to my friends talk about what i like about this the characters they do in this game and and maybe it'll help lead me you know to find my, and it normally does because i normally my head's then just clear of it and i'm thinking about resident evil i'm thinking about other things and then i'm i'm able to just go in with a fresh slate and come up with new ideas uh, when i work on everland so it's a constant uh juggle but luckily i know how to juggle all right anchor key whoa machine gun rounds we don't even have a machine gun Oh, we scanned this earlier. Holy cow. Look at, all the, look at all the stuff. Usually when they give you that much ammo and stuff, there's something waiting for you, but... I guess not this time. Is there just... A, it's just sitting here. Awesome. Wait, changing weapons. Oh, crap. Let's not do that then. Let's, uh, take these. No, I'm not trying to equip. I'm trying to... Yeah, there we go. Alright. Let's put, uh... Let's put it away. That way we can just grab this. Nice. Now let's see if we can upgrade it. Yeah, we can't add any of these because it's already a rapid-fire gun. So let's see what we can do with... Can you the... Yeah, here we go. Firing rate. There we go. There we go. All right. Cool. There's a cold draft coming from outside. Well, you are in the Mediterranean. Found me. Didn't we leave a bunch of stuff in here last time? All right, my laundry's done. So... Rachel, okay. So maybe Jessica is the one that's dressed all provocatively when she's not in the babushka outfit. Maybe I was right the first time. Um, because this is Rachel. She died in there. Alright. Alright, it's... Because things are about to get poop. There's a... Okay. Oh, good. She wrote in a journal before she died. No clues as to who left this note. I was forced on this mission. I had... At any rate, stage one is complete. I can access the bilge. The ship was used as the base of operations for the terrorist attack on Terra Regia one year ago. I found the UAV in the ship's deck that was used to disperse the virus. Finding the UAV was good, getting attacked out of nowhere by a monster was... I knew this mission would... I lost an eye already. It's hard to see. I feel like crap. Arms are starting to feel weird too. My right arm split into two. Blood all over my body. Can see my bones. Need doctor bad. The writing is obscured. Oh! 
Holy crap. Oh shit. You Jill, what's wrong? I found the target, but she's a zombie. Use case. Oh come on, a little bit of <laughs> compassion. Like, hey, this was a woman who was I know she worked with Raymond. Duo! Oh shoot. Oh shoot! She's like a big monster! With big monster face and hands. Her arm is split in two. Whoa! Dang it. Where'd she go? She got away. She's in the ducks. Damn. Go after her. She out the key. I'm going, I'm going. Okay, I'm on it. I'll make my way to your position soon. Does the duck end in here? Where'd that duck go? Is that it? This sucks. Journaling before death. Some, something everyone seemed to have in common. Uh, be back in 10. Gotta run to the store and grab food for the dog. Ain't no problem, John. Take your time. Her laugh is something else, dude. Where? Thank goodness she is slow. Oops. Whew, man, dude. I can't believe she turned so quickly. This virus is more powerful than I thought. You ain't killing nothing, lady. Oh, Jesus. There goes my last grenade. <laughs> Oops. Uh, let's scan her. I've, I scanned enough of these monsters. Let's scan her and get our next health. All right. Jeez. Oh, what up? Balls. Yeah. Where is this lady, man? Where's the target? I mean, inventory full. Fine. Shoot. She, she is righteously, righteously pissed. 
I missed with a shotgun. You know, that's not good. Eef. I'm out of shoddy shells and everything. Yes! Dude, we did it! Alright, everyone. Trish Soda's on me. Shoot him in the groin, he hates it. What did she drop? Oh, lift key, come on. Man, I got... <laughs> I got, like, no bullets left. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. Okay. Great. Hopefully we'll run into some bullets running back this way. I think we do, but... Is there some in here? No, we took those. Dang. Or there weren't any. One or the other. Dang. How many... I got three handgun bullets. <laughs> oh, man. I wasted a lot of shots on that lady. Weren't there? No. Oh, yeah. No, I think we picked up everything up there, though. Yeah. Or, or maybe we left, like, three bullets, but I don't care. What? Come on, man. We're going to have to stab her next time. <laughs> I only have a knife and three bullets. Does this mean Veltro fooled the FBC too? I don't know. Maybe they're just using whoever they can. Right now, we need to worry more about getting this ship operational. Sorry, I got, I got, like, bombarded with text messages. That's, uh, unusual. Um, I will answer those after this episode. Anything? Nothing? I'm, like, afraid to get on this lift. With, uh, with, like, three bullets, but you know what? I'm willing to, I'm willing to risk it. I live life on the edge. Oof. And here's where we learned that I made a huge mistake. I hear something. I hear something that needs to be stabbed because I'm out of bullets. Whoa. Straight into the depths of hell. Oh, shoo. <laughs> all right. Episode four is complete. A nightmare revisited. Thank you all for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Definitely come back and see how I fare in the next episode with only three handgun bullets. Hopefully we find a bunch of ammo before we see any monsters in the next episode. But uh, this is me ho not holding my breath for that. Thank you so much. Have a good one. See you in the future. Peace.